everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another Make a Card Monday video. Today I'm going to be using two different stamp sets on my card. And the first one is the Make a Wish stamp set from Mom Elephant. And the other one is Boca Builder from My Favorite Things. I'm going to be using just the dots from that Boca Builder stamp set today. So the first thing I'm going to do is score and fold my card base. Not really fold so much because I'm going to eventually have it stay flat while I'm working on the card. This is a one layer card and so it's just easier to work on the card when it's flat so you're not having to deal with it flapping up. So I prepped my card base here with my powder tool or my powder bag I should say and now I'm stamping one of the sentiments from that stamp set in Versamark ink this is the one that says happy birthday to you and it's really really large and big so I wanted to make sure that when I stamp this I get a really good impression so you'll notice here after I get it lined up and I start to impress it onto my card base here that I'm really making sure to run my fingertips over every single surface of that uh, big huge stamp and eventually I started to think of it like word by word so I put my fingers over the word happy made sure I got that really well put it over the word birthday made sure I got that and then the ones at the bottom and that really seemed to help me make sure I, I touched every single part of that stamp I'm now using some Ranger detail embossing powder and this is a really nice embossing powder because the granules of powder are super, super tiny. So it's great for sentiments or greetings or little tiny intricate detailed stamps. It's really great for large um, areas like this because the powder goes on really evenly and it melts really smoothly. Um, I'm I've been really impressed with this embossing pattern. I've had it for years and I've, I'm nowhere near the end of it. I don't use silver as much as white embossing powder, but anyway. So I'm going to be using five different colors of ink today. I'm using uh, three from Hero Arts and two from Simon. I'm using Pale Tomato, Soft Cantaloupe, and Soft Pool from Hero Arts, and Lemon Chiffon and Sunshine from Simon Says Stamp. And I just stamped all of the solid little circle stamps from the stamp set first, and then I started to go in with the lined circles. And when I wanted them kind of going off the edge of the card, that top folded edge, I just went and folded it down just long enough to stamp the circles and then moved on. You'll notice I'm mainly getting all of those dots in that bottom right corner and all, you know, just around the edges, but I'm really avoiding that top left corner. That's because I plan to have a little bit of string up there. And in order to have the string on the card, I took my scissors and just took out a little notch right out of the top of that fold and I kind of stuck my scissors in there to make sure that it was nice and open that I could put the string through. And the string I'm using today is from Lawn Fawn. This is like a kind of a natural twine cord color with silver, um, with a silver string wrapped in it. It's really, really pretty. I thought the silver would complement the silver embossing. Now, Lawn Fawn cord usually is a little bit stiff. I think it has some sort of starch agent in it that makes it easier to wind on the rolls. So in order to break that up and soften it, you can just play with it a little bit. I've heard of some people lightly spraying it with some water and letting it dry, but I'm so impatient. I can't wait for the string to dry. So I just played with it for a little bit to soften it up, and that made it a little bit easier to work with. So I'm just going to tie that into a bow. And as usual, when I tie a bow, there's not a real big super secret to it. I just really play with that bow for a long time until I get it to where I want it. And then I pull it really tight. So I just kept playing with it and then cut off the tails. So it was a good size for the card. And the last thing I did was corner chomp the corners. And then the card was done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card. Super simple and easy. I would love to recreate this happy birthday card for multiple people. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on Wednesday for a new Color Wednesday video. Thanks for watching till the very end. I have three more videos for you to check out, and they are all really fast and easy cards, really simple. Um, things to do and they most of them have well I think all of them have really minimal supplies that are used as well so if you're looking for some simple and easy clean and simple cards for, for you to create I would check out these three videos don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button in the top corner just a reminder that all the supplies are listed down below in the video description or over at my blog and if you click on that link in the top corner it will take you directly to today's blog post thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time